Preparing your home for a photo shoot can be exhausting. The day the photographer arrives is one of the most anxious times of the entire home selling process. Everything has to be completely ready by the appointment time. It's a lot of stress to sell your home. What are the last minute things you should do before getting ready for photos, virtual tour, or possibly video? Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm Scott Prokop, photographer, videographer, do virtual tours, aerial, everything to help sell homes for realtors. Good pictures are crucial marketing tools in selling a home. It begins with the home professionally photographed as an important part of effective marketing. Homeowners and realtors depend on high quality, high resolution images, not just to sell a home, but sell it at a higher price and sooner. Let's recap what you should have done before I come. In the last few weeks, you should have been decluttering and depersonalizing. The goal is to enable potential buyers to project themselves into your home. Remember that you're selling the room and not the furniture. Declutter your house. Any items you're probably not using in a few years, you probably don't need them. Donate, dispose of them. Remember that you're moving and you don't need to pack these. Next, depersonalize your house. Pack up your personal photographs, family heirlooms, and other objects and clutter that might be distracting to the pension buyer. You want to present buyers with a personal, clean environment so they can imagine their home, perhaps decorated with their own photographs, furniture, or art objects. Make minor repairs. Fix or replace everything that might be distracting to the buyer. Make the house sparkle. Clean everything, up, down, everywhere. Make the exterior more appealing and welcoming also. You can follow along with my checklist in the link below. This is a complete checklist on how to get your house ready before in the coming weeks and then when I arrive and what you should be doing and to have you ready to sell and have the home look immaculate when I arrive. So here are some points just before I, the photographer, videographer arrives. Put out fresh flowers or a bowl of fruit in the kitchen to add some color and decoration. Open all the blinds and curtains for good light. I love lots of light. Turn on all interior and exterior lights. Turn off ceiling fans. If they're twirling, they'll show up blurry. Turn off TVs and computer screens. I just like them black. Turn on the fireplace. Turn on pool fountains, water features outside. Fluff and arrange furniture pillows. Make them look great. Remove personal photographs from the walls and replace them with landscape shots or something appealing and generic. Hide small floor rugs to reveal the actual flooring. Place all shoes, jackets in the closets. You don't need to see that. Hide garbage cans inside and out. Hide the cleaning supplies you're using. Hide tissue boxes. Hide personal items in the bathroom, such as soap, toothbrushes, and shampoo. Nobody wants to see that. Open a shower curtain and have no items in the shower. Hide evidence of pets, including bowls, beds, toys. And also, pets should be out of sight. So take them for a walk while I'm shooting or hide them in a room temporarily. Hide your TV remotes. Remember, it is key to declutter and depersonalize. Make it look great. The goal is to enable potential buyers to project themselves into the home. You wanna sell it fast, you wanna sell it for a great price, and I wanna help you by photographing it and making it look amazing. I'll be photographing all the major rooms. I normally do not photograph the garage unless it has special features. If you have special features of your home that is not obvious, please let me know. I'll be sure to include them. With my experience and knowledge and understanding, I always call it a dance. When I go around, I take a walk through the house first, turn the lights on, check it over, and then I start my photo shoot or video shoot or virtual tour, whatever it will be. And I just know by walking in a room what angles work, what looks best for your home, and how it's gonna show the best to the viewer so that they do the next step. They come into your home, they see it, they fall in love with it, and give you an offer and buy it. If you like this video, hit the like button, follow along. I have lots of tips from real estate photography all the way to selling your home. I'm Scott Prokop, and thanks for watching. See ya.